Many people love horses with long hair. And this is the same horse, one year, two years old. This is the horse three years old and it was growing, but it wasn't so long. And here the horse is seven years old. He's trained in Spain, he's born in the Netherlands. And you can see he has quite long hair. His tail is made up in the typical Doma Vaquera nudo. It's a, it's a nut. José is now preparing the horse with uh, flares to go to the Netherlands. And here he is at home and you can see that the flares uh, have been in the horse for some time. I'm not... <laughs> I, well, I like long hair, but I don't like to make these flares. So I'm a little bit careless. I have to clean them and I have to take the flares out. And that's quite some work. I only use my fingers and don't use a brush or anything and take the time. This is about 45 minutes later when I was only undoing the, the, the flares um, and make sure that the hair is loose. It's still, you can see that I neglected the flares because there's one point that has broken. It's sad. When I'm ready, I'm going to clean, I'm going to wet the, the hair so I can wash it. And it's sometimes a little bit more easy to undo the nudos with your fingers when there is some shampoo, some foam there. You have to wash it, uh, you have to make it very wet to be able to do the shampoo, put the shampoo in very wet. I take the most cheap shampoo I can find. I mean, shampoo doesn't color the hair, it only cleans the hair. So it, I, I think it doesn't matter which mark. Or some, some people believe in color, shine, things. I don't believe in it. Shampoo for me is only to clean. So I take the cheap, cheapest one, 50 cents a bottle or something. Then I wet it a little bit more because I notice it's, it's still a little bit dry. Be careful for the ears. Don't put the water in the ear of a horse. He will, he will, he doesn't like it, and it's now necessary, not necessary for the horse to feel uncomfortable. And then start rubbing it. Start making foam. Uh, clean it. Clean the places. And you will see that when you do this, that the foam uh, really is dirty, which is coming off. And that's just only a sign that it's being cleaned. Quite. Be careful also not to get the water inside your your arm. People who, have to, who are small like, like I will know what I mean. Then clean it out. And sometimes I use a little bit vinagre, so, um, or vinegar, I don't know exactly the proper English word, that neutralizes the soap. If you leave the soap on, then the horse starts itching. And you really have to uh, use enough water so there is no foam coming off at all. Again, be careful for the ears. Don't put your water in the ear of the horse and your own arm. <laughs> then you have the, the wet hair. It's clean now. It's long. You can see it's very long. And then I come with uh, my stuff and it's called Cowboy Magic. Um, I could earn a lot of money with this movie because of the cowboy magic. Put it in your hand, rub it through your fingers, and just put it on the on the hair with your fingers and make sure it's it's some kind of oil. I don't know what it is, but it definitely works very good. Just rub it through the wet hair. Doesn't the hair doesn't have to be really wet, but the wet hair, um, and. Start already with undoing a little bit uh, the, the nudos, the, the buttons, the, 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 the hair. It starts shining and you can feel it right away what the effect is. Because horse hair is not like human's hair. Horse hair is pretty, uh, they make violence uh, of it. And then just rub it through, rub it through until the, the hair, it's like a conditioner for the hair. You can feel it. This is the most easy part. This is down. There is not so much hair. But upstairs it will be quite a long time, quite a long work. At this moment, I think I'm busy for, well, let's say half an hour, 45 minutes on this hair. Only washed it, undid the flares, and now rub the cowboy magic through the hair. Be careful, only use your fingers. Don't use a brush, you will lose a lot of hair. And that's exactly what you don't want.
When you're ready, you will see the horse is a little bit annoyed. You will see that there is some shine and you can feel it. I, I let it dry most of it, and then I start to undo uh, the hair. I start to <coughs> undo the, the, the all the, 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 the nuts, the noodles I find. Only fingers. Be careful with your fingers. Be careful. Be very soft. Be very gentle. It's almost like riding. Your hand has to be very soft and very, very nice if you want to have a happy horse. At this moment, I'm busy for quite a long time. It's it's an hour, and this is most of the of the work. Only careful with your fingers. Only undoing, and then I take out this part. You see, it seems a lot, but it's long hair. It's not really a lot. And when I <coughs> think it's it's necessary to wet it a little bit more, I take a little bit more water and put a little bit more water on it. And then I do again, I put some, some of this stuff on it. And again, and again, putting on this, this stuff, this cowboy magic, uh, rubbing it with my fingers. Easy, careful, soft, sweet, nice. I don't want to lose too much hair. You will always lose hair. So it's quite a job to, to keep this hair long. And you definitely need flares, which you will see that, that we will see later on. Careful with my fingers. Undo the hair. Do it carefully. Do it properly. And this is result of four years, so it's here's the loose hair. I'm going to take off the loose hair, and I want to show you how much hair is coming off. You see, it seems a lot, but it's long, really long hair. I will show you how long it is. It's even longer than my arm. This is the hardest part. This is upside in, uh, behind the ears. There mostly there is the, the most hair. And again, again, again. I think at this moment I'm busy for one and a half hour, so the horse has to be able to stand still for a long, long time. When you're ready, you will see that it's, the hair is really long, and then I let it dry. Now when it's dry, I'm going to do it again with my fingers. beautiful. Now it's soft, now it's undid, and now I can make the new flares. You see, oh, I say one hour later, but I'm pretty sure that it's longer. Ah, oh, he likes to be touched. He likes it to be around with people. And I didn't do the, the front, and I know they brushed it, because it could have been longer. Well, that's a nice guy, isn't it? It's very long hair, very, really, very long hair. And then the last part, the most beautiful part, let the horse go and try to make your pictures. Only be careful that he doesn't step on his hair. Well, what is more beautiful than to see a horse run with this long hair?